You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez, and here's a look at your top stories. A 12-year-old girl attacked by another at a middle school in Riverside. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen has video and a preview of that story. Jeff Nguyen here outside Arizona Middle School in Riverside, where the family of a 12-year-old student is talking to reporters today after a piece of video circulated on social media. And in the video, you can see a 12-year-old girl being attacked by another 12-year-old girl. So what happened was school had just let out last Wednesday when this physical confrontation was captured on camera here at the school. It was at the back of the uh, campus and the mom of the uh, victim had just arrived here at the front of the school to pick up her daughter when she was alerted by a uh, school counselor that her daughter had been in a physical confrontation. So she went into the nurse's office where she found her daughter. Um, after that, the videos circulated on social media and now the family of the girl who was attacked say that they want the other girl to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. We reached out to both the police department and the school superintendent and the police department and the superintendent, the district, have told us that criminal charges will be filed in this case. A police report has been taken down. Uh, the other part is that because the attacker is a minor, the authorities cannot tell us exactly what measures have been taken, uh, but they do say that a criminal uh, proceeding will take place after this. Uh, the family of the girl who was attacked it says that she is being homeschooled right now uh, per the uh, rules of the uh, school. Uh, she'll be homeschooled for 14 days. And the other part is that the family says that before this attack, attack happened, uh, the attacker was seen on camera being egged on by her friends. So the family wants all of the kids who are involved with the recording of the video to uh, face consequences as well. So we will have more on this for you throughout the day on KCAL News beginning at 4 p.m. All right, turning now to your weather, warm conditions for the first official day of spring, but some areas are still dealing with pockets of rain, believe it or not. KCAL News meteorologist Olga Ospina has details now in your next weather. Hi, Olga. Uh, hi, Juan, and hard to believe uh, we are still talking about those pop-up showers. We started to see those develop uh, just about an hour ago, and today, though, nowhere near as active as what we were seeing yesterday at this time, but we are seeing a little bit wet weather up near Fraser Park, and in in just the last few minutes want to zoom in on this. We are also seeing some lightning strikes, so we are still seeing uh, some in unstable weather across our region just for a few spots. Uh, the rest of us look at this Santa Monica. You would hardly know that we are seeing some rain for some areas. A beautiful day. We have some sunshine. People enjoying the Santa Monica Pier on. Yes, this first day of spring temperatures for downtown Los Angeles uh, checking in at 69. Some sunshine there. Also, spring is finally here, so goodbye winter and spring arrives officially tonight. Uh, that is going to be at 8.06 p.m. But we are already feeling those warmer temperatures for a lot of us. Uh, we are well into the 70s. We have 73 currently in Palmdale. For the L.A. area, we have 73 in Van Nuys, 71 in Burbank, 74 for Pasadena. As we head into Orange County, low 70s in Santa Ana, into Foothill Ranch, Fullerton, 71. Inland Empire, you too are into the 70s uh, with 74 in Moreno Valley as well as Redland 75 for San Bernardino up in the mountains. We are feeling 46 in Big Bear City. So let's talk about this area of low pressure that's been really hanging on not really moving and bringing us that uh, shower activity over the last several days. It's also what brought us those winds last week. The good news is this is finally going to start moving. It's expected to move out as we head into tomorrow. So drier conditions as we head into your Wednesday. We do still have this ridge of high pressure. However, as we head into later in the week by Thursday, it's going to start to flatten out. So temperatures are going to be dropping. And then we have another storm that's going to start moving in just in time for the weekend. So as we head into Saturday, as that low starts to move south, we could get a little bit of wet weather, but the best chance at this point 
is going to be as we head into Sunday. A little bit more widespread at this point, not expecting a whole lot of rain, but just know we could be looking at some wet weather still even into the early part of Monday. And then we start drying out. But temperature wise, you're definitely going to feel the difference from the beginning of the week into the end of the week. This afternoon, it's still a nice one. Mid to upper 70s for LA Inland Orange County, the valleys, the Inland Empire, and the high desert. Upper 60s along the coastline, but still that sunshine is there. And for the mountains, that is the best place where we will see some afternoon thunderstorms. We're seeing that right now out through Fraser Park and chance of lightning strikes, which we are also seeing. For for the valleys, temperatures over the next seven days will continue warm tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, mid 70s, and then those 60s returning as we head into the weekend and into early next week. Juan, back to you. All right, Olga, thank you. Developing news now, JetBlue says it is getting rid of multiple routes, including from Los Angeles. The airline will reportedly reduce departures at LAX from 34 a day to 24 to focus on more profitable routes. The local routes getting cut are Los Angeles to Cancun, to Las Vegas, to Liberia, to Miami, to Puerto Vallarta, to Reno, to San Francisco, and to Seattle. This announcement comes after JetBlue's failed merger with Spirit Airlines. We'll continue to monitor this story and bring you updates as they become available. This has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juan Fernandez. We'll be back live at 4 right here on CBS News Los Angeles.